friends today we will make free energy generator using razor blades which are used for saving using these blades we will make a free energy generator and check what quantity of emf can be generated through it here we will use two blades by using these blades we will wound a insulated copper wire over it and try to rotate the magnet in between these two blades and see how much quantity of emf may be generated through it so we can start the experiments some wood pieces we require to make this so we will arrange this experiment and see what quantity of emf can be generated and measure it using a multimeter so we can start the experiment first of all we have to wound a insulated copper wire over the blades for that we will stick the blade over these wooden stands so that easily we can wound a insulated copper wire over the blades stick the blades to the stand so that we can easily wound a insulated copper wire for that we will apply a little bit glue and stick the blades same thing we do with uh, another stand and stick a uh, another blade in equal distance so once both blades are sticked so next we will wound a insulated copper wire over these two blades next we will wound a insulated copper wire over these blades for that we will leave a some terminals for connecting and remaining we will wound over the blade to hold it properly we will apply little bit glue and start winding the insulated copper wire over the blade we will wound it for a maximum number of turns for both the blades see that maximum winding is been done once it is been done next remaining part we will wind in another blade before that we have we have to stick the stand in such a way that we can make the magnet rotate in between these two coils so once it is been done next we will stick this wooden stand and next we will make the other stand to fix in a certain distance so as to mount the magnet 
so we'll fix, uh, try to adjust the motor so that it can rotate in between uh, these two magnets in such a way that the motor can rotate in between these uh, magnets can fix the now we can fix the stand uh, with this uh, glue so as to fix the motor in between these uh, two blades Now we will attach on another wood. So when, once it has been fixed, uh, next we will fix uh, another stand so that it can fix with the stand. So for that we will apply the glue to both the wood cuttings. Once it has been done, now we will fix the, apply the glue to the base of the stand. Now we will fix the wooden stand with the two base. Once it has been done, next we will wind the remaining part of the coil to the another blade so as to complete the circuit start winding the copper coil over the blade See that maximum number of turns are obtained. Once the both the windings has been done, the extra portion is left for the connection. Once it has been done, once the winding has been completed, next we will fix the motor with the round magnet over it to move in between the two blades with the copper winding so that maximum flux may link and we can generate EMF. So we are apply uh, glue to the base of the motor and fix it with the wooden stand. Fix the motor in such a way that these magnet rotate in between these two coils wounded over the plates. Once we have attached now we will fix the two terminals of the endings of the blade to the terminals and connect it. We'll fix two terminals fixing two terminals remove the insulation of the copper file
So once the insulation is removed, next we will connect it with the terminals. Next connect the forward bias diode to one terminal to convert the EMF generated in the form of alternating current AC to DC with a half wave rectification. Once both the terminals are connected, next we will connect the filter capacitor Once the filter capacitor is connected, now we will connect the terminals of the motor Connect both the terminals to the two endings of the copper coil. Once both the connection is been made, now uh, our total connection is been completed. Uh, two blades in between which uh, a magnet is rotating, the motor is rotating uh, in order to generate the flux uh, in between these uh, two coils. Thus, the connection has been completed. Now, we will give the torque to the magnet and see whether the EMF is uh, generated or not. For that, we have to give a maximum torque and see whether EMF will generate or not. Once all the connection is been done, next we will give a turn to the magnet and see whether it will generate the EMF or not. For that we have to give a maximum turn to the motor and see whether EMF will be generated or not. So we have to give a maximum turn to the motor in order to move this. So once the torque is given, the motor starts to rotate in between these coils and thus generating the EMF in the coil. We can check with the multimeter what quantity of EMF is generated in between these two coils. With the help of multimeter, we can check. So we have kept the range to 20 volt DC and check what quantity of EMF is generated. So nearly 9.40 or 42 volt is been generated here. Next we will connect the extension board and see whether the bulb will glow or not.
fix the extension board and see whether the bulb will glow or not. Both the terminals are being connected. Next, we will connect the bulbs and see whether EMF will be generated or not. So, in here, the glowing of bulb indicates that EMF is generated in the coil. This works over the principle of Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction, stating that whenever the flux linking with the coil changes, EMF is generated. So, say, same EMF will drive the motor and that EMF is taken by the bulb also, thus showing that EMF is generated whenever the magnet moves in between the insulated copper wire. The change in uh, the rate of change of magnetic flux linking the coil generates the EMF, and thus we can produce the EMF in the coil. Friends, thank you very much for watching the video. Please don't forget to subscribe the channel. Your support means a lot. Thank you very much. Once again, please don't forget to subscribe the channel.